I was sitting in my loft late that evening. The rain beat heavy against my window. It was dark. All around me, the eerie sounds of the evening. Then, as if my script had a limited number of words, Roy Orbison appeared. What the hell? Whatever. Excuse me, miss. I need your help. It seems my car has a flat, and I need to fix it. Unfortunately, I'm wearing my token leather jacket and I can't bear to part with it. Do you have an umbrella I could borrow? An umbrella? No, I'm sorry. My religion frowns upon them, because they look too much like spinnerets from a mosque. Then it hit me. This is my chance. This is my only opportunity to fulfill my lifelong fantasy. I'll finally be able to put Roy Orbison in my cling foil. Excuse me. You've been talking to yourself for quite a while now. Do you have something I could use to keep me dry or not? I sat there pawn. Hey. Please stop monologuing. I'm right here. What? Shut up. I sat there pondering for a moment. Thinking about his old wrinkled hide, pressed firmly against an entire box of my cling film. I could cover him in butter and rub him against the windows, to show off my prize. Such a spectacle. What a sight to behold. Okay. You're getting a bit weird for me. I think I'm going to go. His supple man bosom was vivid in my mind now. The colors and shapes of his rolls pressed against the inside of my cling film, filled me with wet satisfaction. Did you just say wet satisfaction? That's disgusting. You've got real problems, lady. You're probably right. 